Gone for six days. I pack super light. Let's go. Let's go, Ruby. Time to wake up, foo. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. You ready? Okay, Poppy, I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. Leave me alone. I'm up. It's cold. And we're off. Bye-bye, St. Louis. Here we come. What's the first day? Oh, we're going to hit Illinois. Basically, we're in Illinois right now. So, bye-bye, St. Louis. Okay, we're driving through East St. Louis, but we're in Illinois, if that makes any sense. This is not a place you want to dash, so we will not be turning the dash app on in East St. Louis. Who knows where it will take me or what situation we might arrive with a baby in the vehicle. So, we will wait to do an Illinois run in a safer spot. All right, we got the first order you'll see right here. It was a double Panera and Total Wines. I like the cash flow, it was 13 bucks. It was 7.8 miles and when I was looking at the map, it looked like it wouldn't taken us out of the way. So I'm not gonna like go out of my way to do one, but I'm gonna catch a dash if it aligns right and it's going in the direction or whatever. Maybe stop off at an exit, do a quick run, get right back on the highway. But that one I almost took, but it would have added too much time to the trip. Kobe, gotta put it in the trash can. Okay, we just left Illinois. A couple offers, couldn't grab one. It is what it is. We just entered Indiana. It's been several, 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 several moons in here since I've been in Indiana. So, I don't know, I guess I'll see if... The problem is with these rural spots, you can't really just dash anywhere in that state. You gotta be in a very specific area so we'll see what we get but we are in indiana right now so we did we just passed up a zone <laughs> that was busy evansville indiana i guess and uh, yeah we're not going backwards but might have just missed an opportunity but it doesn't really matter we'll do what we can so i have seen two peak pays of five dollars one was in illinois one was in I think, carmen illinois and then once boonville indiana we'd have to go south way off course five bucks though it's pretty uh it's pretty high we are in indiana stop through five dollar peak paid boonville thing hasn't gone off we stopped for some lunch some mcdonald's here we're in a subway there's a arby's cbs a taco bell nada nothing else. In Kentucky, no, still no dashing. <laughs> but listen, we're gonna get, we're gonna catch one because I'm looking at the map and the Kentucky map. Listen, the Kentucky map, the Kentucky map has all kinds of dashes. This ain't the dashboard, but I'm saying it, it's got all kinds of spots. So we'll catch one. So we are here, Frankfurt. We're basically gonna gonna take 64 to i think we're going where are we going hold up we're going somewhere over in this area over here i think 
kids. Hold on, let me see. Somewhere over here, so we ain't got we ain't got too much further to go. It's the missus. <laughs> so we just hit we were just able to hit dash now in Frank Frankfurt. I wasn't able to a little while ago, but it said busy at five, it's four fifty. I hit I'll schedule and see. And then boom, I'm able to dash now. So let's see if something pops up. I'm listen. We struck out in Illinois, but I've done dashing in Illinois before. It's not a big deal, right? Struck out in Indiana big time. Went to a spot, $5 peak pay, nada. Wasted about 30 minutes of time. Let's see if we get something in Frankfurt, Kentucky. What do you guys think? We got one Koi Express, I think. We're 650 yards away from it. 10 bucks, seven miles. I said, yeah, we're gonna take that. <laughs> no peak pay out here. First DoorDash ever in Kentucky. I'm not even driving right now, but I'm dashing. Madison's driving. So this should be interesting. I think it's actually going seven miles in the opposite direction of where we like want to go, but we had to stop anyways. So what do y'all think, man? 10 bucks, seven miles. I mean, we're over, we're at, we're at a decent ratio. I never know this place. Obviously I've never been here before. First time I've ever stopped in Kentucky. So, uh, I'll take you all inside with me. We'll oh, see yeah, what we, we just pulled out. It's right up here. So, there, so this is like, uh, yeah, like I said, we are 650 yards or feet, whatever it said. No, it's right there. Yeah, we could have walked. That's how close it was. But we'll wind up having to go seven miles. Oh, it's sun's bright. But, uh, hey, kind of exciting. We got one. So, we, we failed in Illinois. Miserable fail in Indiana kind of a success in Kentucky. This is the first time I've been able to turn the app on since we've been in Kentucky where I said I could dash now. So we'll do this quick one, head to the hotel, chat a little bit, and then uh, tomorrow we'll do one in Virginia and possibly, or West Virginia, Virginia, and then Virginia. So here's Koi Express. Hey, this might have hidden tip written all over it, y'all. What y'all think? Let's find out. $28 worth of food. Hey, what's up, man? Good. I have a DoorDash for Ricky. Ricky S. Yeah, Ricky S. Yeah. Order was ready. That was way too easy. You see how easy it is to dash wherever at any time that you want? It's too easy, y'all. Let's go. Okay, so this order is actually going 14 minutes in the opposite direction on 64. But so basically, this is a 28 minute detour to make 10 bucks. But hey, we did it. We're dashing on. We're dashing our way through the cities to Virginia. We just made 10 bucks. I mean, kind of, kind of made 10 bucks. I think we're going to have to split the tip with my driver, my chauffeur here. This is what I call, listen, this is beyond top dasher stamps. This is VIP dashing in Kentucky of all places. I'm not even driving and I'm making money. You can't forget about the baby in the back. So I got to split this three ways. So I'm basically making $3.33. Look at that. ice on the side of the rocks. I don't know what you call it. It's not a mountain. I don't know what it's called. Okay. Frankfurt. All right. I wonder what kind of house this is going to be. Just leave it to the door. I wonder. I'm wondering. I'm thinking this is going to be a nice home. This is That's my guess. I think it's going to be a nice home with not a lot of other things around it. What do you all think? You guys see the Panera? So Panera, for those of you guys that don't know, started in st louis so that's why when i call it bread co or st louis bread co it's because that's where it started and that's what we call them in st louis everywhere else you guys go you guys call them panera just a little 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 info for y'all all right cool little house nice little house newer home <laughs> dashing in kentucky baby Put this bad boy on the table. Yes, sir. John, we got Papa John's delivery person behind us. And as you saw, 350 base pay, 650 tip. Fantastic order. It didn't take us much time at all. It took us basically like 14 minutes from when we got it to when we dropped it off. That's it. We did it. Kentucky, you come, you put, you came through for your boy. So Indiana, Kentucky, thumbs up. So I'm going to make a bold statement right now, and you guys gotta let me know in the comments if you've ever seen witnessed has anybody ever done a doordash delivery with the four month old in the car before i've seen plenty of people deliver with their boyfriends their girlfriends their wives 
their friends. I don't think anybody's done a DoorDash food delivery with a baby in the automobile. First time on recorded video. I don't know. I'm just saying. All right, we are here. Ramada in Kentucky. I would never. <laughs> All right, so uh, tomorrow's video, part two. We'll do a run in uh, West Virginia and then Virginia. That's what we're going to be looking for. Hope to see you guys then. See you guys tomorrow.